delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hello everyone, I'm Luke Elvey. Great to have my mate Rich Bean beside me. And Rich, as this next player begins their round, what do you think of their chances here today? In the top 10, but let's face it, I think they're a little bit too far behind the leaders. However, a stumble from the leaders and a good final push from this player, got to say, it's possible. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. <laughs> that was wonderfully done. Time for the second shot into the first. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one's going right at the pin here. That's just inside the range. Putting for birdie. Steady on. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Solid par putt, that. He's currently in a share of sixth. Time to tee off at the second. That was pummeled into submission. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Yes, and let's hope it's not a similar result as yesterday. Going with the 9-9, I think. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful booty look here at the second. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. Well done. Take the booty. And now minus seven for the event. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That's an awful error. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, guys, we're taking a look at Gary Woodland here on the seventh. And this putt is for birdie. Oh, what a great stroke. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. And that will take him to one under. Let's get back to it, shall we? Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. 
you know, they part this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Smart shot, always back into the fairway is a safe play. Getting ready to play their third. Well, you're on the dance floor, but a long way from the DJ. Let's just cozy this close to the hole. Ouch, that hurts. This next putt is for Bogey. Hey, that's a chance. And that'll be a bogey for them on this hole. Currently at six under par overall. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Trying to bounce back after that bogey at the last. Disappointing that one. And this effort by Justin Thomas. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, they're locked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Well, this is what you call an underdog, but the PGA Tour, we've seen plenty of those underdogs get up and win. Do you think this player's got what it takes? The PGA Tour is full of underdogs that can flat out play, Luke. This is just another one of those scenarios. This player is someone to watch. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Well, this would be a great power putt if he can make this. I don't mind the look of this. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Not a bad approach. He'll be putting. He has about 14 feet to the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. He's currently sitting in sixth position. the sixth hole. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards.
choosing the nine iron here should find the green here yeah not a bad effort that one up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt and this putt is to move into the top five just didn't drop Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Well done. Time to head back out to the action at the 11th hole. to the pin opting for the nine iron this looks to be heading to the green not a bad approach grab the putter from the caddy you're dancing let's take a look at the leaderboard our current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. That's a bit out of shape. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? And they're in the deep stuff, and they are deep into it as well. So I'm going to have to be careful getting out of this one. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. <laughs> left yourself an opportunity. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. This would be a good one to make. It's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. He finds himself tied for sixth. This hole is a par three. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Well, now you just got to pray for a good line because that one's heading towards the sand. Sitting at six under, tied for sixth position. Thirteen footer coming up here. Wow, that's classy. Good save from there. Good par save there from the green side bunker. Job well done. John, give us a small update. I'm down on the seventh hole, and this is Billy Horschel. In the bunker, off the tee, You've got to make up for a mistake. Ah, yes. That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. off here at the ninth hole
That got caught up in a few of the branches. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. And here we are with the third shot. This one headed left. That's a little wayward. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. He has this putt to save his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Currently six under for the event. It's time to begin this powerful hole. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. From about 130 yards here. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. John, have you got a read on this one? Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Okay, steady now. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. He's currently tied for sixth. Teeing off here at the 11th. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. <laughs> Choosing the nine iron here. Well, this one might need to get down a little. That's not the outcome they were after. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This would be a great up and down. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. Lining up for his third now. I gotta say, I'm glad we got another look. That is in there close. Let's take a look at the leaderboard.
And now teeing off on this par four hole. Oh, that looked like a bit of an ugly swing there. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here on the 12th. Looks to be going with the five iron. This one needs to kick left. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Bit too heavy handed there. This putt just five feet away from the hole. It's half a chance of being hold this one. Oh, wonderful effort, confirms the par. And that moves them to minus six for the tournament. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That one's right out of the top drawer. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Got a chance. And there it is. And that will take him to seven under. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Going with the seven. Needs this one to kick right. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. And let's take a look at this shot from a moment ago. Billy Horschel's playing some beautiful golf. It's in the hole. Time for the second shot at the 14th.
This part of about seven feet to the hole. That was a gallant attempt. This is a bogey putt coming up. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. We have a par four on this one. They're trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. Birdies are good. Harness them. Block the bogeys. They're bad. That's some good golf right there. Time for the second shot at the 15. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Right by the hole. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And with that putt, now it's six under with a few to play. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight shot advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. Let's take a look at JT just a little while ago. I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Great putt. Second shot here on the 16th. <laughs> and here we are with the third shot. Going with the eight iron here. And should find the surface. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. He's already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. Not sure how that putt came up shy. It's downhill the entire way, and yet, unexplicably, comes up short. That was pretty straightforward. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. A chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. <laughs> yep, that shot safely on the green. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look.
That one's come up short. That will drive you bats. Looking good. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. He's currently tied for ninth. Let's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. Oh, that was pure. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one headed left and not coming back. Splash. Sitting at minus six in a share of ninth position. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, nicely played. This putt is for a score of 72. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, dear, this next putt now for double bogey. And with that putt, that'll bring his tournament to a close. Not a bad week, Rich, wouldn't you say? It was okay, but not good enough to get to the top of the leaderboard. More work ahead. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.